Welcome to Oasis Focus Connection. We're so happy that you're joining us today. Uh, thanks everyone for joining us. And we're just here today to just pray for the needs of our country. But first we wanna just give glory and honor to God for what he has done this week and what he's going to do. God is an awesome God. We serve a big God and we're just so grateful. We thankful. And Lord, we just thank you right now, Lord God. We give you praise and glory and honor. We thank you for what you have done in the lives of your people this week. We thank you, Lord God, for healing those that have had healing progress this week. We thank you, Lord God, for providing for those that have needs met this week. We just thank you, Lord. We give you praise and we give you glory and honor. We thank you, Lord God, for what you have done across this world, amongst the nation, oh Father, in every aspect. We give you glory and honor and praise in Jesus' name. And I just want to pray for those that are struggling with truth. We serve a God that is a God of truth. And we've had so many that have walked away from the faith when we've, we've had these situations that happened in the last year um, with the government, you know, with the different situation. And I just want to pray for them. I want to pray for those that are still out there that's lost and just trying to find truth. They're trying to find Jesus. And I just want to lift them up. And for, I ask right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you would just touch every person out there that is struggling with truth the struggling to know who you really are. Show them, Lord, show them who you re really, really are. Show them that you are a God. You're a God of love. You're a God of, of everything. You're God over this world. And I'm just asking right now in the name of Jesus, oh God, that you would just begin to remove any barriers, oh Father, remove any distraction, begin to move, remove chains that are, just dragging people down, yes, oh Father. Lord. I just pray, oh God, that they will be released in their spirits, released in their mind, released yes, in their emotions, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, that you would reveal yourself to them, oh Father. I pray, oh God, that the truth, the truth and light would be imparted into their lives right now. All across this world, oh Father, any country, any nationality, oh Father, anybody that's struggling with truth, and that are lost, that don't know you, O oh Father. And God, there's some that are even in church, O oh Father. I pray, O oh God, that they have, if they have areas in their life that they have not surrendered to you, O oh God, I pray, O oh God, that they would lay those areas at your feet, O oh God, and total, totally surrender their lives to you, O oh Father, and giving you liberty, O oh Father, to work in their lives, the freedom to do what you want to do in their lives right now in the name of Jesus. And Father, I thank you, Lord God, that your truth will be revealed. Your truth will prevail in the lives of your people and those that are lost right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, I just thank you, Father. You said when two or more agree together, you are in the presence. And I thank you for confirming your word. I thank you for, com for, com for confirming your word in my sister, Father, that those who are in bondage, you are specifically laying on my heart for those whose children has walked away from the faith or walking away. I thank you for the listeners today. There is no um, coincidence that they were listening to the prayer chat today, Oasis Prayer Chat. And Father, I just thank you for those who, Father, are wondering, uh, is it possible something that they have done wrong, Father? And that uh, for their children not to be walking in the word like you, like they supposed to, Father. And Father, I just thank you for confirming your word. You said we are to do your word and obey your word. You do the rest. We do the water and you the one that bring the increase, Father. And I just thank you, Father. And I lift up to you those uh, other families, Father, who children, Father, are not taking a stand for righteous, Father. I just want to encourage you that there are uh, so many parents, several parents have come to me about their children. They know that they was raised in the church and that uh, because of all the, the uh, distractions and the voices out in the world today, they are beginning to uh, doubt their faith and doubt their belief in God, Father. But I just want to encourage you that God's word cannot and will not return void, that 
his word accomplished wherever it is sent and it performs, Father. And you told us in your word. Your word is conditional, Father, and that once we do our part, you will do your part in your timing, Father. And I just think you told us to uh, train up our children in the way that they're supposed to go and, and when they older. Now, when is their old, when are they older, what age that is or whatever, we don't, we can't and don't know the answer to that, but you know. And we know just like a prodigal son went away and came back and within due season, Father, that you welcome him with whole, whole, whole arms, um, uh, arms wide open, Father, with no judgment or whatever, and just show us and give us wisdom as parents, Father, to how to even to be careful about how we judge our children, Father, especially when you got maybe one that's on course and one that's not, Father, that we have to love them according to their individual bent that you gave them, Father. We know that there is no perfect script for parenting, but at the same time, we have to love unconditionally, the same way you did us, Lord Jesus. You loved us unconditionally, and you still do it today. We still fall short. The Bible says, I'll have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And I just thank you, Father, for sending your words. Whatever our children are uh, that are not doing what they're supposed to do, you are there. You see exactly what's going on, and we just plead the blood of Jesus over them, and that they will come back come back to the faith, come back to their first love and come back to what they know, Father. And I just thank you for your ministering angels that are camping about each one of them uh, to watching over them and bringing them back to the fold safely, Father. We trust you. Your word cannot and will not return void. And Father, I continue to stand in the gap for those parents whose, whose heart are, are really hurting for their wayward children, Father, no matter what age. God is faithful and he know when and where and how to bring them back to the fold. We trust you. We love you so much. You are our only answer, Father, and we, we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father God, right now, Lord Jesus, I pray, Father God, for hope to be restored, Lord Jesus. I pray, Lord Jesus, right now, Father God, that hope in the hearts, Father God, of your men and women, your, your daughters and your sons, Lord Jesus, you said, Father God, now faith is the substance of things hoped for. So God, we decree and declare, Father God, hope to be restored, Father God, back in families, Father God, back in our nation, Lord Jesus, Father God. Lord, Father God, that the dreamers would dream again, Father God, and the hopeless would hope again. Lord Jesus, you said that hope deferred makes the heart sick. So God, I plead the blood of Jesus over hearts today, Father God, those that are sick and those that are broken and those that are wayward. God, we plead the blood of Jesus over there. And we call, Father God, a healing, Father God, over hearts, Father God, over minds, Father God, over emotions today. Lord Jesus, Father God, that it would bring hope, that hope would well back up into their bodies. Father God, hopes that their families would be restored and hopes that their finances will come back into alignment. Lord, you are God that is a restore. So this is the confidence we have in you, Father, that if we ask anything according to your will, you hear us, God. And because we know that you hear us, we have the petitions we ask of you. So God, right now, Lord Jesus, I ask hope, Father God, to fall fresh on every home, every person who is listening, everyone who's praying, everyone who's seeking, Father God, for hope, Lord. Lord Jesus, begin to well it up, Father God. Let them see it, Lord Jesus, everywhere they go, Father God, that you are the God who changes everything, Father God. You make everything brand new, Lord Jesus. Father God, you said weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. So God, we decree and declare joy to enter into homes today. We thank you and we praise you for it. We give you the glory, Father God, that you are a hope for years past and our hope for years to come, Lord Jesus. We grab a hold of that hope today, Father God, and we impart it, Father God, to all those that are listening, to all those, Father God, our nation would be filled with hope. Our government, Father God, would be filled with hope. Our, our police and our jurisdictions will be filled with hope, Father God. We just give you the glory and the honor and the praise, Father God, for the anointing, for the impartation of hope today. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord. Father. Yeah. Yeah. Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Lord. We lift you up and we exhort you. 
Father, we magnify your name, O Lord. Father, we just take this opportunity, O God, to lift up all of your people all around the United States of America and all around the world, O God. Those people that are known by your name, those people that are called by your name. Father, we pray, Lord, for your divine protection over them, O God, even as enemy rages, O God, and they try to imagine vain things against your anointed, O Lord. Father, your word declares, touch not my anointing and do my prophet no harm. Father, we pray for all of your people, Lord, especially those that you've called to stand in the gap, those that you've called to be the watch, uh, watchmen and watch women upon the tower, those that you've called to seek your face, to call upon you, that you will hear. Father, I ask, oh God, that you will be your edges around them, oh God, you will protect them divinely. Father, I ask, oh God, that you will superimpose your power upon their power, superimpose your strength upon their strength, superimpose your energy upon their energy. Father, Lord, that they will be walking and moving from victory to victory and from triumph to triumph. Lord, we just pray, Lord, for those people that have been experiencing or already experienced or that may have family members that have experienced uh, terror in any way whatsoever, either violent killing or, or any form of uh, violence. Oh God, we just pray, Lord, for comfort. Lord, we pray for supernatural strength for them, oh Lord. Father, we also remember those people that are marking uh, the 100 years of the of the Tulsa massacre, the Black Wall Street, oh God. Father, Lord, you know, Lord, you, you said in your word that vengeance is mine, says the Lord. Father, we ask, oh God, that you will be the one that will avenge for them, oh Lord, even for their atrocity and whatever they've been through, Lord, we ask, oh God, that you give them strength. You give them energy, even to overcome all of the hurts and the pain and the trauma. Father, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus, you are the only one that can reward them. You are the one, only one that can restore all that was stolen and that were moved from there, even from their, their, their descendants, oh God, that Lord, that you will just bless their descendants abundantly, oh God, four times more, hundred times more, oh God, for all that their, their, their ancestors lost, even during this time of massacre, oh Lord. Father, we pray, Lord, those people that lost us, those people that lost material things, those people that lost lives, oh God, Father, we ask, oh God, for your supernatural intervention. We give you all of the glory, all of the honor, and all of the adoration, even as you blanket our, our country with a, a revival, the spirit of revival, and a true repentance, oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Father, Father, in Jesus' name, I just give you praise. I give you glory, Father. I anoint you. Can y'all hear me in the name of Jesus? Okay, Father, I just thank you. Oh, God, you are the king. You are the Lord. You are everlasting, Father. You are the prince of peace. And I thank you, Father God, that let your will be done here today, Father God, even with our prayers, oh, Father God, because you said what? to agree and touch in anything. It shall be done by the Father in heaven. So, Father, we invite you in, oh, Father God, to, to, to uh, hear our prayers, oh, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And we know you hear our prayers, oh, Father God, because you said you hear the prayers of the righteous, and we're the righteous of, 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 of through Jesus Christ. And I thank you for that, oh, Father. I thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus, oh, Father God, you said to seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all these things shall be uh, added to us. So, Father God, I thank you, Father God, as we continue, Father God, to follow Jesus. Father, you said Jesus is the light of the world, Father. And you said if we follow you, we should not walk in any darkness at all. So, Father God, the world is in darkness, Father, because we're not following you. And if we follow you, we'll be in your light. And if we be in your light, oh God, we are the light of the world. We respect you. We respect your glory, oh Father God. So Father God, give us a heart, oh Father God, to follow you. Give us that hunger and thirst after your righteousness, Father, so we can be filled with your glory and with your presence and with your power. And I thank you for that, oh Father God. I thank you by faith, oh Father God, that we can do these things. Because you say without faith, it's impossible to please you. But those that come to you must believe that you are. And you are a reward of those that diligently 
your feet seek you, Father. So we're diligently seeking you, Father God, for your glory, Father God, for your power, Father God, for your will to be done on this earth, Father, because we know that you're not willing that it is your prayers, but you all should come to repentance, so Father God. So we, let us lift up Jesus, oh Father God. Bring our hearts back to Jesus. We need to lift Jesus up because you said if we lift Jesus up, you will draw all men to your kingdom, Father God. So it's all about your kingdom, oh Father God. It's all about you. It's all about how we love you with all our heart, with all our soul, and with our, all our mind. It's all about you, Jesus. And I just thank you for that, oh Father God. Let us have that fire back in our heart for you, oh Father God, to live for you, to trust you. Because she told us to trust you with all our heart and not lead to our own understanding, but in all our ways to knowledge you and you will direct our path. So, Father God, I thank you for that, Father God. Let us save souls one heart at a time, one soul at a time, oh Father God. Catch your heart, so Father God. You said the king heart is in your hand and you turn it what's over and we're like the river flow. Turn that horse back to you, Lord Jesus. Turn that horse back to you. Because you said, unless the spirit drum, they would not come. They cannot come. And that's the spirit draw them to you, oh, Father God. So I thank you for that, oh, Father. Give them an ear to hear, oh, God. Hear what you're saying to them, oh, Father God. And we know, Father God, those that are in the shadow water, Father God, they're saved, but, Father, they still in the shadow water, Father. They don't want to go out into the deep. But, Father God, I ask that you would just draw them in, sanctify them by your word. Your word is true, oh, God. And continue to sanctify them, continue to pray and bring them back to you, Father God, and let their heart be on fire for you, because you said those that are lukewarm, you're going to spit them out. So, Father God, let us catch back on fire for you. Let us hunger and thirst back after you. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. And to God be the glory. Thank you, Lord. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, for an opportunity to come before you again. We thank you for all those who have prayed this afternoon, my Lord God, for o Oasis Focus, my Lord God. Right now, my Lord God, we thank you, Lord God. I pray for wisdom, my Lord God, that you would give us wisdom above all things, my Lord God. You said in your word, my Lord God, if any man lack wisdom, my Lord God, let him ask for you, you'll give him to the living and the great, my Lord God. And we thank you for who you are because you are wise, all-knowing God, my Lord God. All things are possible because of who you are, my Lord God. We don't even draw a breath unless you allow us to, my Lord God. We thank you for who you are, my Lord God. Lord God, you say in your word, my Lord God, be wise in the way that we act around others, my Lord God. Because some may not be of the faith, my Lord God. And we are representative of who you are, my Lord Jesus. Lord God, let's be those who carry a light, my Lord God, carry a desire, carry a, a hunger that others will want, my Lord God, to know you, my Lord God, want to know why we are different, my Lord God, because we're your servant, sit aside for your good and your purpose, my Lord God. Sanctify our lives, my Lord God, in such a way, my Lord God, that others will know that we are different, my Lord God, that we are called by your name, my Lord Jesus, that we're your children, sit aside for your will and your purpose, my Lord God. And we thank you for this opportunity, my Lord God, just to come in your presence again, my Lord God. And I thank everybody that pray, my Lord God. My Lord God, at this faith, pray for the spirit of truth, because you are truth, my Lord God. You say you are the truth and the light. No man comes to the Father but by you, my Lord God. My Lord God, we thank you that hope is being restored, my Lord God, to those who are lacking hope, my Lord God, when there are times when they don't understand, my Lord God. Teach them how to trust you above all things, my Lord God, because you are God of justice, my Lord God, and there's nothing impossible for you, my Lord God. Lord God, they learn to lean onto your understanding, my Lord God, not onto their own, my Lord God, but to acknowledge you in all your ways, my Lord God. They, they, you will come, they will come to know you in the fullness of your power. And we thank you for who you are. We thank you, Lord God, that you are king of the world, my Lord God. You and you alone, Lord Jesus. No man coming to the Father but by you. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are our Lord and our Savior. And we give you all the glory and all the honor. This we ask in the name of Jesus above all names, my Lord God. And we thank you again for joining us on Oasis Focus. Have a blessed week. Bless those who are listening. May God fulfill your every need and your desire to know him in the fullness of his power. This we ask in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Yeah.